Now you're extremely um, uncorrupt, clean, in intelligent, and you've had nine years of stable government, more or less. Why is it that you still haven't managed to change the profile of Orissa? But the profile of Orissa still remains to be, you know, not a state which is a developed state. Yes, I think it's a false impression because I'd like to mention here that more than six lakh crores of investment has been offered to Orissa. We've signed MOUs for all that. I'll give you a small example that in the 60 odd years since independence, Odisha produced 1.8 million tons of steel per year. In the last three or four years, it now produces 10 million tons of steel. Uh, you know, our standard. And yet, there are 47 percent of people living below the poverty line in Odisha, which is, you know, well, you know, it is in contrast to what you are saying. That's why our first, uh, our first job, our first interest of uh, the government of my government is to deal with anti-poverty programs. We are doing two rupee rice per kilo for the poorest of the poor, for people of BPL. What is the status of that scheme now? Even Mr. Rajiv Gandhi said this, that for every one rupee that is spent, only 10 paisa reaches the place that it's actually supposed to reach. What are you doing to ensure that the people who are, who are supposed to get this, get it? Well, in fact, I mean, you could find out for yourself that the two rupee rice per kilo scheme is going very well. We are also doing old age pensions for the very poor. We are doing a lot of programs even from our own state exchequer. When you came into politics you didn't really speak the language. I don't know how your Uriya is now. Um, you are not... More Uriya. Tikke bhalo uchi. And here, can you make speeches in Uriya? Tikke tikke speeches to Oh, not bad. Not that I understand what you are saying. Um, 